Hi everyone, in this video I'm going to show you a new method for solving quadratic equations. First let me just say that I did not create this method. Um, I believe this was discovered by Po Shen Lo uh, quite recently. Okay, so this is a quadratic equation and we are going to go through the steps to explain how we can solve it using this new method. So first of all, notice the coefficient here is a 1, right? I made sure there wasn't an A here. If there is an A here, what you do is you simply uh, divide everything uh, by A and get rid of it and make sure it's a 1. The next thing to realize is that every single quadratic equation factors and it has the form x minus r, x minus s, where r and s are the roots. You can factor every single quadratic equation no matter what. As long as you allow yourself to use complex numbers, um, it's okay. Now let's go ahead and distribute this through. So x times x is x squared. And then this times this is going to be negative rx. And then we have um, x times negative s. So that will be negative sx. And then negative r and negative s will be plus rs. Okay, almost there. So now what we can do is we can combine these terms, right? We can pull out uh, a negative 1 and an x. We can write it like this x squared minus parentheses r plus s okay pulling out the negative one then we have the x plus rs all right we're almost done like now the cool part happens so now we're going to equate coefficients so basically we're just using uh, matching let me use a different color so you can see so b here has to be equal to negative r plus s right using just matching equating coefficients so b is equal to negative parentheses r plus s and then c is equal to rs so c is equal to rs so the way Po Shen Lo does it he he now solves for negative b so let's rewrite this as negative b equals r plus s so we have these two conditions here so the roots add to negative b, right, r plus s are the solutions or the roots of this equation. So the solutions add to negative b and they multiply to c. Notice another observation that Potion Lo made is that if you divide this by 2, we get negative b over 2 equals r plus s over 2. So the roots, they still add to negative b, so we still have this condition here but their average is negative b over 2. So this is now the leap he makes. He says, okay, if you have two roots, two numbers that add to negative b, and their average is negative b over 2, that means they must have the form, you know, negative b over 2, you know, plus or minus some number. Let's just call it plus or minus u. So these are going to be the answers to the quadratic equation. So the only thing left to do is find u. You know what? Let's go ahead and find it. I think I can squeeze it in right here. So we know that the roots multiply to c, which is equal to rs. So we know the roots, negative b over 2 plus u times negative b over 2 minus u we know those multiply to rs. I'm going to go ahead and call that c, and we're going to derive the quadratic equation using Potion Lowe's method. This is so cool. Uh, this is the difference of squares, right? It's a minus b, a plus b, so it's b squared over 4 minus u squared, and that's equal to c. I'm going to go ahead and scroll down a little bit so we can see a bit better. Um, I'm going to subtract this from both sides, so we get negative u squared equals c minus b squared over 4. Okay, multiply by negative 1, so we get u squared equals, we're going to flip the signs now, okay, so b squared over 4 minus c. Take the square root. That gives us u equals plus or minus square root b squared. Check this out. I'm going to skip a step here. Multiply this by 4 over 4. Okay, I lied. I'm not going to skip it. Minus 4c over 4. So u is equal to plus or minus square root b squared minus 4 times 1 times c 
over 4. Why did I put the 1 there? That's going to be our a. So this is actually u equals plus or minus square root b squared minus 4 times 1 times c. Square root of 4 is 2, so it's really 2 times 1. So that's not the answer, right? That's not the answer. That's just part of the quadratic equation. If you remember, uh, the method says, let me go back up so you can see it, the answers are of this form here, negative b over 2 plus or minus u. So now we just have to go back and add negative b over 2. So we have negative b over 2 plus or minus, and then all of this stuff, square root b squared minus 4 times 1 times c, all over 2 times 1. And that is um, you know, the quadratic formula, right? You can write it like this, negative b plus or minus the square root of b squared minus 4ac, a is 1, over 2 times a. So I did that kind of quickly, but that would be x. But I wanted to show you uh, why this method works. Uh, he has a really good video where he spends like 40 minutes going through it and giving lots of examples. Um, uh, I didn't watch the whole video. I just watched part of it. Um, but yeah, I'm pretty sure this is how he does it. So kind of cool. That's it. So let's do this potion low style. So solution. So the first thing you do is you look at this number here. And you need two numbers that add to the opposite of this number. So the opposite of negative 6 is 6. So we need two numbers that add to 6. So the opposite of negative 6 is 6. And that multiply to whatever number is over here, so 2. So step one is you need to find two numbers that uh, add to the opposite of this and multiply to 2. OK, step two is you know that those numbers and this is the potion low method, you have to divide this by 2, and those two numbers will be of the form, well, 6 over 2 is 3, so it's 3 plus u, that's one of the answers, and the other answer is going to be 3 minus u. So 3 plus u and 3 minus u, these are the answers to this equation. We already have the answers. All we have to do now is find u, and we know that they multiply to 2. All right, now we can solve this using the um, difference of squares. So 3 times 3 is 9 and then u times u is u squared so it's 9 minus u squared right it's a squared minus b squared so a is 3 and b is u and that's equal to 2 subtract 9 so you get u squared negative u squared so minus 9 minus 9 will give you negative 7 divide by negative 1 that gives us u squared equals 7 take the square root you get u equals plus or minus the square root of 7 we're almost done, right? We're almost done. We know the answers are of the form 3 plus u, 3 minus u. So the answers are going to be simply 3 plus or minus square root of 7. And that's how you do it, potion low style.